We'll cover today the exponential phase of the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust BCHG, who's moving 13% today with the huge move of 4% from Bitcoin. The crypto market is pumping and now we're going to analyze this asset and show you how and why this trust is now in an exponential phase. So this is the daily chart. As you can see here, these were the main resistance levels that build up since July of last year. The first level was around $5. Here it was a, around $11. And now the top that we have or the next resistance level is at $22. So how do you know how to trace this stock and how it is in an exponential phase? Fairly easy, easy trend lines to draw. And after that, we're going to look at it with volume and the MA50, MA200, and that's pretty much it. You will know everything to know about the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust chart. In order to do the trend lines, you need at least two points. Fairly easy to do. The first one is this point and this point. So this was the first phase of this exponential phase. Very flat, but still with a little uptrend of a trend line. That was the first level. Once we broke this $5 level and we corrected, we found support at around $8. So now we have two points and then you do this. And then from the base here, second point, and that's your new trend line. When you see the steepness of this trend line going up like that, that's an initi initiation of an exponential phase. And Usually these big changes like that are associated with big changes in volume that you see here that's required to accelerate the price action towards higher prices quicker. That's normally the case. So once we've found support in this trend line, then we chart again towards $11 and then we broke it, broke that level again with another peak in huge volume in the asset and because of that after that you can draw this trend line who's almost vertical and how you you draw draw it you need at least a top and then a correction and some kind of support here it's around 1750 or 18 dollars you can call it 18 dollars and then you do that trend line so now you see that the steepness of the trend line is still even higher it's almost vertical and that's how you have an exponential phase for an asset keep in mind that when it's getting to be very vertical at one point it's going to break and it's going to trade sideways at a certain level to allow the trend line to flatten a little bit if you're going to continue up and to the right that's what we want but we are not at that phase right now so all this price action has made the ME50 turn upwards. It has been on an uptrend since, I would say, November of 2023. Pretty steadily, but once we broke here, it shifted on a more steeper progression because of the price action. Same thing for the ME200. Flat, but going up, and then here it accelerates a little bit. Because it's taking the average of the last 200 days, it takes a while to react. But once both MA50 and MA200 are going up to the right, that's a lot of bullish momentum for the particular asset. In this case here, we're looking at the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust. Gives it a lot of momentum. And it's kind of difficult to change the MA200. The MA50 will react a little quicker. But even in this case, you see that the MA50 is far from the price action, meaning that we are accelerating in the explosion of the price and we're, we're not correcting towards the MA50 at this stage. That's all you need to know. That's how you set up your levels. That how, that's how you set up trend lines. And when they break, we will see how we need to react. But for now, extremely bullish for BCHG, who's up, 12% today. So now we're faced with the weekly chart of BCHG. And as you can see, 
volumes are going higher and higher, very high volumes here that are triggered by this upwards vertical movement. We are charging towards $24 here. It was going to be a little tough to break, maybe. I, my guess it would be that we're going to trade sideways around 24. Once we break 24, then we're charging towards all-time highs of uh, 56 or 60, according to this chart. I don't know if there's a lot more data there, but around this price. Why are we going to stop at 24? Because 24 was a support level in 2021. However, one thing that you need to notice is that the volume levels at that time were lower than what we have seen here. So it could be shorter than expected to break it. Let's see how it behaves. So for now, the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash is going up. For me, I expect to go to $56, $60 within this bull run. We could go beyond it. I'm not gonna tell you that we're going to go to $600, things like that. I don't know. Nobody knows and whoever gives you that target or an amount of money that you can make with these funds is pure speculation. You need to set up your levels, get into the asset and ride the wave and maximize your profits. That's what you need to do. What will be the profits at the end? Nobody knows. I don't know. You don't know. And whoever's making videos about this do not know. The only thing that I can tell you is that this bull run could be different from the previous one because we have a lot of buying going on in Bitcoin. Bitcoin will pull everything up, included Bitcoin Cash, that is the crypto asset associated with the Grayscale Bitcoin Cash. They're not linked, but they are in a way linked. It's not an ETF, so there's not a di direct link, but there could be influence there. But I think the bigger influence is Bitcoin. And these funds have exploded in price in the past. The purpose of me covering them in the channel is to potentially go back to the same levels of 2021. And if we can go beyond and higher than 2021, fine. And if they correct extremely hard on a small correction of Bitcoin and we get back to these levels and then Bitcoin does another search upwards in price and then we start to see the same process, we'll do it again. But you have to be aware of getting in at the right price, getting out at the top, and then waiting for a nice price entry to get back in the asset. If Bitcoin goes up for the next eight years, most probably these trusts are gonna follow the whole time. So that's another possibility. I don't know if it's going to happen, nobody knows. So there's a lot of theories going on. The thing that you can do is select some money to invest in the asset. Know that it is risky. It is risky. Know that you can get amazing results because of the past. That's a possibility. It could stop right here also. You never know. But the potential is there. The theory is there. The price action is there. And that's how I base my entries on assets that could be disruptive, that can be life-changing for your portfolio and for you indirectly. I'm just sharing the information. You have to make your own decisions on what you want to do. I have my own way of doing it and uh, getting into these positions. But the more people know about it, the more possibilities of sharing that information and sharing that potential wealth for everybody is out there. But you need to make your own analysis, take your own actions, and also deal with the volatility, changes, if it corrects hard, what are we going to do, things like that. You need to be aware of that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep getting informed, keep continue watching uh, my videos. I'm extremely happy that many people give me comments, give me feedback. I like this, I didn't like that. Can you do a video on this and things like that. It's been pretty fun so far. I'm doing the research anyways, so making the videos is not a big deal for me. I'm just sharing as much as I can and what I'm looking at currently. So happy trading. See you all on the next one.